Let's find out what the cards have to say about your love life this uh, Valentine's season. So before we dive in, please make sure to check out the description box for details on how you can book a reading with me. This is the best way to support the channel, but if you subscribe or give this video a like or leave a comment, you're also um, helping the channel. So thank you in advance. So as always, we are going to be focusing on the energy of this upcoming week. Since Valentine's Day is coming up shortly, I think the question in everyone's minds is uh, questions regarding uh, romantic love and relationships. So we are going to be looking into that. And I'm going to be using the gypsy cards to determine what uh, subset of topics we need to um, break down in this video. So this is your forecast and your guidance for the upcoming week, and it also is a reading that centers around romantic love. Okay, this is interesting. So the card says um, sworn money. I, I guess that means uh, a little bit of money, so not enough money. I think that's what it, it's trying to say. Gavish um, pains, etwas Geld. Un peu d'argent, nesto nocte, un peu de denaro. So it's interesting that the tarot is mixing finances into this topic of love. And my first instinct is to not only think in terms of the literal literal meaning of this card, uh, thinking about financial issues that could arise in a relationship, but also in terms of scarcity of resources, whether that be emotional or physical resources. So some sort of scarcity, some sort of lacking in relationships is what we're talking about today and what the guidance from the tarot is going to um, illuminate for us. So what happens when you are finding yourself in a relationship that is somehow not enough whether that's on the, strictly speaking, on the, on the financial front, so perhaps your partner is not willing to work with you to achieve your financial goals, and maybe they're actively sabotaging uh, progress in that sense. Perhaps your um, attitudes towards money are vastly different. Or perhaps in another sense, what your partner is offering to you in terms of attention and love and care seems to not satisfy your needs. So what do we do? What is the guidance on that? So we have the Knight of Swords, a very straightforward card. The name of the card is Sorrow in this deck. I'm using the Osho Zen Tarot. 
And so the Nine of Swords is very simply put about those moments in life and those situations and those um, internal states, most importantly, those mental states where there's a lot of feeling guilt, feeling uh, concern, feeling anxiety, and uh, a type of feeling of entrapment that seems to dominate one's experience. Entrapment by the past or entrapment by the future. So this is the ultimate spiritual path. This is our uh, end game. Whether, whether we are in romantic relationships and uh, uh, testing our strength in those kinds of situations or whether we are in any other uh, kind of scenario, the end goal and the core uh, challenge is always the same. It's to escape the paradigm of these two illusory um, states, the future and the past. The past can have a hold on you, and it can uh, make it seem as though the present is something which it isn't. So projections from the past can completely cloud your understanding of the present. And the future, very similarly, can distract you from being present and from simply experiencing life as it is. So the guidance is to try and see these kinds of tricks that the mind is playing on you and understand that no matter what form, what outer appearance this uh, test appears, and most likely it's going to appear in the context of romantic relationships for you this week, but the ultimate um, lesson here is to not allow yourself to be drawn into these narratives of you having to rely on someone else to feel some kind of need, of you constantly having to draw from the past or build towards the future. All of these things, all of these ideas, although they are natural and they happen to all of us, they just, uh, they obscure the path. They make it so that our priorities and our understanding of who we are becomes obfuscated. So there's a neediness to both of these cards. Not enough money, not enough attention, not enough um, connection with another person, and a constant regret or fear uh, directed at the past or the future. These are very similar dynamics, very similar things, and ultimately, You are not dependent on anyone else and you are not tied to any version of the past or the future. You are free in the moment and you are not lacking anything. I think it's this experience of lack that drives a lot of uh, psychological processes in romantic relationships and 
having the ability to disengage from this narrative can make a huge difference. So the guidance is when you find yourself um, ruminating or um, insistently um, worrying um, or when you find yourself uh, thinking that the other person is some kind of, or, or the relationship itself is some kind of a resource that is not really satisfying you, catch those types of thoughts and think in terms of you trying to trick yourself in those situations, you trying to tell yourself that on your own or as an independent um, force of existence, you're trying to uh, negate your own value in, in such situations. Of course, there are certain basic needs that need to be met in order to exist. You need your partner to be not violent with you, for, for example. That's a very basic requirement. You need your partner to be there for you when, uh, when something goes wrong. Uh, you need to be able to rely on them. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm talking about the surplus uh, needs that we are projecting into romantic relationships and how they are essentially a surrogate or um, they are a distraction on the spiritual path. So when you catch yourself in those kinds of uh, states, remember that you are free. Ultimately, you're free and you're independent. So I hope that you enjoy this reading. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, and if you'd like to order a personal reading with me, then check out my website. Thanks for watching. See you next time.